Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 26th of November and a challenge Saturday. I did have to turn back time today. Uh, I had some technical issues with trying to do backups and stuff and it was taking forever, but not super duper late. Uh, but today we're bringing in three off-world security officers while being seen as little as possible. We are frail, shaky ex-off-world. We've got a conk hammer that we can't bash dash with. We've got acid traps and visitors. And a brick. A brick that we sadly, well, we can potentially brick with. But we have to be on the brick, or at least in the radius of the ship. Hi, cat. Uh, let's go. Okay, we've got heat sensors, shotgun. Target please, autopilot, mini sentry guns. Okay. Let's take a look at the ship. So potentially, probably not gonna, not gonna try it on this one, but potentially we could just brick and then try and catch him directly. Uh, this ship's small enough that it's probably gonna be about as fast to just go through it normally. And then we can get more junk. Okay. Grab that. Maybe get that crate. Oh, you know what we can maybe do? bit awkward but we can go up here visit smack you catch you then go back around is that worth it one two three four five and then two seconds and six seven eight versus one two three four five six seven eight And it's probably faster to just go through it normally. Unless they have a good item. Okay, do I care about the alarm? I do not. Now the question is, can I smack the key carrier? To save some time. Might be able to. Ah, uh, nope. Something like this might work. Nope. Oh. All right. Yeah, that wasn't gonna work. That's fine. Right, I can at least smack you now. Okay, pick up, pick up, pick up. And then we got a lot of people doing a lot of stuff right here. Uh, let's give you smack. Let's do some shots. If we get lucky. Okay, okay, okay. More visitor, a shotgun. Oh, I, I thought I had thrown a hammer, but no, that was just an extra hammer. All right, interesting. Okay, do I go for that crate? I don't know what's ahead of me on ship three. Don't have any crashing capabilities. And I'll just go up here. Okay, pick up, pick up. Give him a toss, take shotguns. this way and get the brick moving. I 
I keep wait, why why did that not shoot? I don't know why that didn't shoot. I just pick up the hammer, I meant to pick up the shotgun. That actually hit. Wow, amazing. Okay, so we got all the stuff we need to stashed. Uh, let's pick up a gun so we can shoot this out. Okay. Well, I got a shotgun. Let's see if this works. Hey. Okay, 16 seconds, not too bad. It maybe would have been better with the visit. Eh. Bit difficult to time out. Uh, let's take these. Don't have any use for a not shotgun, I don't think. And I don't have any use for an acid trap, I don't think. But these don't help all that much. Random kit, target fleas. That's a little close for comfort. Okay, yeah, probably a small enough ship that I'm not going to worry about bricking again. Get the auto zoom. Oh, I was coming in way too fast there, and also at a bad angle. Thought it was going to rotate along orbit along the other side, the other direction, but I was wrong. Okay, stream range visitor seems pretty tempting here once again. We can get down here, visit, get you out, and then go out through this window. Seems pretty good to me. I'm gonna drop this here. I'm gonna drop this here. Get you in this way, but I don't have to deal with you. And do the same with you. Oh, that's that wasn't the same at all, but same as in take you out. Okay. I'm kind of feeling like experimenting with trying to brick on ship three. So. Might as well use resources here. I could use... You're going on patrol, so potential thing is I could go visit, visit. Then I get an item while you're walking. You seem to be walking up, so you're probably going here. Then I catch you on the way out. Would have to wait for me to return after two seconds anyways. Let's do that. Yo, yo, I, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good trade for a visit. Um, can't really super effectively use it. Well, no, what I can do go down here. Or where's the key? The key's right there. I wonder if I can get that in time. Go ahead. Um... Nah, I 
can't keep you living. Okay, so give you a bash. And get another extreme range swapper. I see, I see. Walk down here. I think the best place to use the swapper is here. No, the best place would be to go from here to here. Will I be able to get this crate? I want to get this crate. Just want to be sure that I get it. Yeah, that would have been pretty close. And we get another swapper. Oh, I will take it. I will take it. Go there. Go there. Why did I stop walking? Okay, should have used the swapper on this guy, but whatever, doesn't matter. And there we go. So I was going to consider bricking, but we've got three swappers and visitors. And that's going to save a lot of time. That almost certainly means that we can get by a shielded target, probably. We can swap them to a window or something. The okay, targets themselves are only partially shielded. Got wrenches. Hmm. Target fleas. All right. Let's let's see what things look like. Okay. So we do start out somewhat in the middle. That's advantageous. We don't have a way to get out unless we pick up a lethal weapon oh we, we we can visit out but they, we can't bring the target out with us okay we can't brick here so we could brick here but then that sends the target flinging this way i'm not sure if you have the time to pick him up if they're not heading straight towards you But I could brick over here and then just swap the target themselves directly. Compare that to over here. We can probably get around here, do a swap, do a swap. We have to figure out a way to get you, and then we have to drag you all the way back here. Oh, the telepad's right there. No, that doesn't save us any time. Oh, if we brick, the target's going to flee. And we definitely don't have time to intercept them, unless we brick this telepad, which is a little bit difficult to do under time pressure, maybe. All right, breaking's too risky on this one. Wow, starting off with the tracker. A tracker does allow us to leave through the fuel barrel. Okay, so with the knowledge of the ship, this room could be bricked. Either of these two rooms could be bricked and then prevent access to the telepad. Same with either of these two. 
Uh, let's see what we've got access to. So we might be able to swap here. You've got a lethal gun as well. The problem is I don't know if I have a way to get out of here without being seen. There's a lot of problems with not being seen in this. Getting past them looks interesting. I could shoot and then just go around. Yeah, not being seen is the the big difficult thing here. Maybe I do brick. So if we brick right here, first off we can get our pot in a good position for it pretty quickly. We can brick, then come on, and then swap, visit, get out. Yeah, that should hopefully be enough. Because, yeah, the big thing that I'm just considering is not being seen by all these people is my biggest worry. Okay, so I can do like a swap here, and I could do a swap here, probably. I wouldn't be able to get your key. I'd have to swap with one of you. At which point, you're almost certainly gonna see me before I get out here. I could do a swap over here, but then that leaves me to the same problem. I'd have to, what if I do a swap over here, and then a visit, or a visit? That still puts me still need to get past this room. I think we're gonna brick. I think we're gonna brick. We got that, and then two rooms down. To be ideal. Center the screen, zoom out, zoom in. So that's where we want to go. Turn to pod. Okay, that's looking pretty solid. Zoom in a little. Uh, that's the wrong one. Zoom in a little bit. And so, target's right there. We want to go about here. Drifting to the left. That should be pretty safe. And let's try this out. Okay. Did we hit on target? I think we did. I screw up. Something tells me I screwed up. I think I was supposed to brick either of these rooms and not that one. I screwed up. Can I hop out? I can't hop out. Okay. After all that planning, I think I screwed up majorly. <laughs> uh, 7-2 had a much better time anyways. Curious what different items we got. Hmm, yeah. I had a brain fart there. I just had a thought of, well, if I brick the room closer to them, then I can more easily visit back. Without realizing until it was too late. Oh, wait. That means that... Their path to the telepad is unblocked. Whoops. My bad. 
<laughs> All right, well. Yeah, curious to see what items 7-2 got, because my swappers were really good, but they're... I, pr I probably should have tried going through the ship. It was just looking annoying. But yeah, either way, 7-2 would have gotten first place, even if I got through that fine. Uh, but yeah. Uh, sorry, got distracted there thinking about scores. Uh, yesterday, 7-2 came in first with a four-second lead. Uh, my understanding is we had a significantly different set of items. Uh, but either way, very nice job, 7-2, taking first place. Very nice, 42 seconds. And then I took second, Zazaza in third, Humbretto fourth, and the random noob in fifth place. I don't know if I've seen the random noob in the top five. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. If I haven't, welcome to the top five. And with that, that is all for today's daily challenge. A bit of a disappointing end, but I should have seen that coming. That was user error. Uh, but thank you, and I hope to see you tomorrow.